Trump governs by chaos, and you know, last week it was attacking uh, transgender people, and so this is what the man does. We have to keep that hope and that faith alive, and we have to keep on going forward and keep organizing and keep voting. Sometimes we just keep talking to our friends, but there's other people out there that need to hear our voices. So we've got to get out there and get as many megaphones as we can and tell them our personal stories. This fight for immigrant rights has been going on every 20 years, so they're for decades. And then, but our numbers are so much bigger now. When you think of 70% of the American public or more supports the Dreamers, you're talking about 200 million people. Think about that kind of support that you have right now. And then we've got all these devices that we have, like Facebook, Twitter, so we really can inform people a lot better and, and motivate them. And I think that that's what's really gonna bring us the capacity that we have to change. All of you that uh, haven't registered to vote, do it now and do it for the DACA students. If you don't wanna do it for yourself, do it for them. It's wonderful that we're marching, that we're protesting, but if people do not march to that ballot box, if we don't elect, and campaign uh, for people that are progressive to represent us, then nothing is going to change. The policies that Trump is trying to roll back or policies that he's enacting that are against the people, we're gonna stay there. Always keep that in mind. And we have this, uh, this chance in 2018. The only time that we lose is when we quit.